Good morning, everybody. I, two days in a row, got up relatively when I was supposed to. Like, I'm talking within five minutes of when I was supposed to get up. Yesterday was for wrinkle on time. Today was to edit the vlog. And now we're supposed to go to Hollywood Studios for Park Open. I don't know if we're going to quite make that, but we were just feeling like we needed breakfast. So, making Mickey waffles again. There's Sarah's vat of pancakes. I got some hash browns going, and I just made some eggs, and I got coffee. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here's my coffee. Dan and Dawn, don't be disgusted, but this is still your candy cane coffee that you got, you sent us. But yeah, I think it's time we go have all the fun. The shopkeeper is out having Cocoa and Santa. What a lucky person. I want to have Cocoa and Santa. But I guess it is pretty dead over here. Yeah. It probably doesn't get a lot of foot traffic until, until later. later. Oh, did you guys know that it's named after our favorite movie? It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful, wonderful shop. Life. Okay, I just feel like it's I thought that was closer and closer. I thought this was going to be an opening to start the galaxy's edge, but it's not. But well, maybe just for a little bit. But this looks like it might be wide enough to enter for a break. Just Ooh. saying. <laughs> Guys, in here I feel like it's the old studio. Yeah, look at them looking for I'm the I'm never going to cry. Never is, you know, that looks so nice. Sarah's I getting all here. the feels. I came here to be happy. And I am just depressed. She's not like, depressed, but she's like, you're feeling connections to studios that you haven't felt in a long time. And I like when I was little, studios was my favorite part. Like it's it was just my favorite, so it's really a hard. And we were talking I'm about so how excited for the new stuff, but like I wish it was like the old stuff reopening again. Or like there's the anticipation for the new parts to open up, but it's not gonna be studios like it was back before the construction. It's gonna be a whole different studios after. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I just love the studios purest. Peter's favorite Star Wars character is Boba Fett. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like that's the only character you've given me like a really detailed explanation of, so I I always feel like he's your favorite. <laughs> lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled. Bonjour! 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 I want an adventure in the great wide somewhere. I want so much more than you. than even she in her wildest imagination could have dreamt. For through a series of strange circumstances, she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle. And now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents... Your dinner! Most days we just lay around the castle the mist through the wood, through the darkness and the shadows, it's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. This is the first 
first. Like this is like the last major holiday that we'll be here for. Ooh. That we haven't been here for? That we haven't been here for. It's like our first time. So like not used to seeing peeps over on the candy shelf. Mulch. Fence. Buzz Lightyear. I keep my fingers crossed so More mulch. hard. The first bit of Toy Story Land. Just a humble two hour wait. Guys, 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 guys. There's like big steps. I used to think this was going to be an another entrance to Galaxy's Edge, but I wonder if it's going to be just that one spot over there because it's going to be such a bottleneck. This is going to be an exit. Don't you think it's going to be backstage? No, no, this is going to be, this is, but yeah. this I think is going to be part of the path to go out of Toy Story Land towards, yeah. um, towards Muppets? Grand, the, there's, oh, Grand Park. There's Grand Avenue. So I think you'll be able to walk this between Grand Avenue. Maybe. I'm just a man. <laughs> Cool. What is this? Oh, it's just like a fun background? Cool. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Real Oscar. Alrighty. Tram. Tram. Hey, got some Starbucks. And now Peter is all sorts of happy. So we're heading over to the Flower and Garden Festival. I can't wait. Thank you. Epcot, here we come. We're here. I cannot wait. I hope the bag line is not long. <laughs> I'm itching to get in there. Oh, here we are for the 25th anniversary. Epcot Flower and Garden. We need a we need a new book. Yeah. Oh. A new jingle. Don't put that. I didn't think about that. The pressure is on. Let us know down below what kind of jingle we should do. Like I the food line, food line. Flow and grow ones. You did call flow and grow. Look who's here. I like to give props to Jill. She's going to Rollins College now, accepted into her master's program. And as a congratulations, go to her Instagram, Enchanted Corner. What's what's Enchanted the act? Book. Enchanted, Enchanted Book, Book Corner. We'll put like a link somewhere too for this, but we're here to get our uh, Flower and Garden Festival magnets. They're doing two this season, up until April 8th. It's green. It's like really, and then it changes to like classic Minnie Mouse. But with flowers. this cute stand right in the beginning of World Showcase Lagoon and this figment statue called to me. But they've got, then I realized they had a bunch of stuff. Man, I'm so, I don't know why I'm so excited for Flower and Garden this year. Because you're feeling the Florida vibes. I am feeling the Florida vibes, as Jill says. That is so cool. Space is limited, so you have to register in the tea caddy. Wow. Good to know, yeah. First, food. Flower and garden meat. Okay. This is a house made potato and, and cheddar, cheddar biscuit, biscuit. With salmon tartare. Woohoo! I like, like it. Corn, wave. So what is this, Jill? Um, she said it in French and now I don't know. It's the first one. Tomato tart with sauteed onions, fresh thyme, and rosemary on a flaky pastry crust. And it looks delicious. Uh, we stopped at Taste of Marrakesh to get the fried cauliflower. Mm -hmm. I like that it comes with four and I like, like that in some sauce. Yeah. Five bucks. Uh -huh. What's the sauce? Uh -huh. Ooh. It's really good. I'm diving in. This shows just how big and important the smokehouse at the American Pavilion is. It gets this big, giant advertising tube next to the menu. We're going for the beef brisket burnt ends. There's other things with a pork slider and stuff we want to get, but burnt ends is what we're starting off with. Here we got the burnt end hash with pickled jalapenos. That's the big thing between the two. They don't have pickled jalapenos on the yeah. slider. This is a Jeez. slider and white cheddar on it. Ooh. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't I doubt this is new this is year, but I just love that they have this troll because it just reminds me of the old attraction. I know they've got the big troll inside the Norway Pavilion, but oh my gosh, that just made me so happy. I, I miss the Norway ride so much. 
Um, excuse us, but what happened to Kringla? The bakery cafe right here. We have to add our story too. Maybe. Let us know. We got, we're trying to put on the, the vlog, the Insta story. We need to know. Is this coming back? Please tell us. Okay. It's been a little minute. We're using video we went to the BBC Lounge to rest and to get, let, get snacks. We didn't now get snacks before Jill got here. Relax and enjoy living And now we're doing living with the lamb. With the lamb. And there was a 25 minute wait, but Sarah snagged us a fast fast. Yay! 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 Discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. Oh my god, we got off living with the land. We're gonna go grab the. Joe wants to grab some food from the honey booth. But look at the reverse waterfall. I think it's the wind. I think it's a combination of the wind when and the cold. It's windy in here, all the fountains blow on you. True, and it's cold. Like it got cold in the past like hour. Florida cold. Florida cold, yeah, of course. It's not getting like Chicago cold here. No, I don't need Never. Yet. Yeah. Or Did you get the popcorn? <laughs> no. Lifestyle. Jill at the Honey Bistro. Ooh, this looks divine. I know, Cheesecake and a flatbread. It is your dinner. It's your dinner. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Yeah, what's the flatbread taste like? It's a little similar to what we had in France. Oh yeah? With the tomato? Mmm. Super nervous about this. Why? Just because I've never done it before. So we have been raving about Walmart grocery thanks to Joey Beth from the Buck the It's the Bug's Life. And they give you when they when they don't have something you want, they give you like an alternate and they gave us a bunch of corn tortillas that we're not gonna use. Eight. We're only two people. So we're gonna try something, we're gonna try to make chips out of them. Found a recipe that makes them like lemony and seasony. So we shall see and bake them instead of deep fry, but yeah. So it's like three parts lemon juice, one part oil, I almost cumin, like a lather. chili powder, and salt. Okay, so there's something that we haven't told you about us. What? It's we don't have cable. Nope. But we're fine with YouTube watching YouTube watching Netflix. So I signed up for a trial of YouTube TV so we can get the Oscar streaming. This is the first time in 10 years that we've been together that we've actually ever are gonna end up watching the Oscars. So keep your fingers crossed that Lord of the Rings Return of the King wins everything because that was the last time I like sat down and watched from start to finish all the Oscars. But wait a minute, but wait a minute. This commercial comes on and Sarah goes, I live there. All right, here's an update on the chips. They look pretty good. They taste pretty good, but we're gonna give them a dive in and see. They're performing Remember Me. Remember me. This is so good. Remember me. I hope the little boy comes out. They said three names. I bet he does. <laughs> Are they gonna wrap it out? I think so. Okay. Oh, oh it's at the little boy. Wow. Okay. It's after midnight, which is crazy because we've gone to bed like super early the past like three days. But Oscars were awesome. We like most of the winners. With the movie passes, we were able to see a lot of the movies. Yeah. So that was unique this year to like actually watch, actually. have experience with those movies and everything. Right. So we're happy with all the winners. I think all the yeah. the stuff was we good. We were surprised with Remember Me winning Best Song. Like I just didn't think it would win. So that was like, that was like probably the most pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow we go back to work, and I think we have like a normal week now. Yeah. I think. Yep, no visitors until the end of March. Maybe we'll just go to fl uh, Flower and Garden like every day. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions.